Hey there. Thought I'd find you here. Are you are you all right there, Sunshine? No answer, huh? That's all right. I deserve that. It was a dumb question. I heard about the fight. They roughed you up pretty badly, didn't they? Oh, don't mind me, though. I just came here to catch some fresh air and admire this fine rooftop view. But since I ran into you up here, anyways, I might as well check up on you. Can I sit down? Well, I'll take that silence as a yes. Damn. I know you, and I never really talk that much, you know? But from what I've seen, I, I never took you for someone who would actually get in a fight like that, you know? I mean, sure, you're always looking grumpy, sitting in the corner, all gloomy by yourself, sun sunshine beaming through your hair, but I didn't think you'd actually throw punches to think you actually managed to take down those two guys. Well, to be fair, I heard you were wearing brass knuckles, but then again, you were outnumbered, so I guess your brass knuckles just even the odds, I suppose. I'm almost jealous. Keep it up, and you might just steal my place as the school delinquent. Yeah, and I worked really hard to get that title, you know? Don't get me wrong, though. I'm glad you taught those jerks a lesson. If you hadn't done it, I probably would have. Campbell and Joel were so asking for it. Although, well... <laughs> If you don't mind me asking, you never really struck me as a violent person. So why exactly are you bringing brass knuckles to school? Still don't feel like talking, huh? Well, it's alright, I guess. I suppose you're still a bit shaken up with it all, you know? Besides, I think I might have an idea why you brought them anyways. You know, maybe this isn't the best moment, but I've been... Well, I've been... Uh, I've been meaning to talk to you, and I... I don't know how to say it, but... but I just... I wanted to thank you. You remember that math test you were tutoring me in for... What? M days? Months? <laughs> I passed it. I could have failed my entire year, but thanks to you, I didn't. To be honest... When the professor assigned you to tutor me, I didn't think there was much that you could do to help me. I had pretty much given up until you came and said, Hey, I hate math as much as you do, but if you want, I can make it a lot more simple than you think it is, okay? Then you explained to me all those tricks and sent me pictures of all the notes. I, <laughs> I never thought I'd actually be able to understand any of that. All of that, like, bullshit that math teachers, you know, throw at me. <laughs> but you did make it a lot more simple. You're way better at teaching than any of the actual professors, you know. My friend Allie tried to help me a few times too, but, well, she didn't exactly help make it simpler. Don't tell her I said that. Please. <laughs> I swear she, like, hit me with her bag or something. Anyways... You didn't have to do that, you know? Other people were assigned to tutor me before, but I don't think any of them ever actually tried. I think they were scared of me. <laughs> Most people just see me as the delinquent, smashing bottles in dark back alleyways, fighting groups of guys over and over. I mean, they're not exactly wrong, but still, you were patient. And you actually helped me. Thank you for that. I really mean it. You know, I wanted to thank you before, but... I could never seem to catch you outside class, and I could never find the right words. You're always the last to arrive in the classroom and the first to leave. As soon as the bell rings. I never see you in the halls at lunch or anything, I guess this is where you come when you're not in class, eh? You're quite good at not being noticed, you know? You see, the thing is, I might have figured out why you've been doing that. Isolating yourself, I mean, you've been doing that because of Campbell and Joel. 
And all of those jerks have decided to bully you. They've been hurting you, haven't they? Right? Yeah, I heard them in class the other day bragging about... Well, how they had to just grab you in front of everyone. And you know what? I don't think you want to talk about it. But anyways, I just... That's why you brought the knuckles, right? To defend yourself? Can you at least nod, please? Yeah, I imagine that was the case. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry this has been happening to you. No one should have to go through something like that. Going around harassing people for fun is just... It's such a dick move. Those guys are just immature and ridiculous. You, you know you should report them to the... Oh, look. Oh, you finally speak. I'm glad to hear a voice, finally. I was starting to think they might have knocked your brain off in there. But anyways, I guess reporting those guys is a hard no, then? Oh, you tried reporting them? And the professor didn't do crap about it. Of course, classic. They're our star football team students. Why would anyone ever believe they are actually a bunch of jerks who go around bullying other students? I swear, this fucking school. Well, if the school won't solve the problem, then I guess Brass Knuckles will have to do, right? <laughs> I got a smile out of you there. Hey, can I see them, by the way? The knuckles, I mean, dork. I don't know why you're blushing. Sweet. Yeah, these are badass, man. There's still a few pieces of uh, Campbell and Joel's face in them, though. <laughs> Ew, totally gross. Yeah, I'd wash these. <laughs> oh, these were your brothers once? Where is he now? Oh, I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I, um, I wish I got to the hallway in time to catch the fight, though. Because I would have totally teamed up with you if I had. What? No, 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 I'm serious. I never miss a chance to knock some sense into people who deserve it. Besides, if it was you, me, and your brass knuckles against those two, I'm sure we would have walked out there with no scratches. I think you and I should uh, hang out more. You're not as easy to corner when you're not alone, you know? Besides, hanging out by yourself at all times, is, it just it isn't good for you. Now, I, I know I sound like a damn shrink, but really, you're always welcome to hang out with us, you know? With me and my friend Allie, I mean, you know her, right? Yeah, she's my best friend. I know it's unlikely I'm the school delinquent and she's a huge nerd, class president and everything, but somehow we became friends. You look like you're a huge nerd too, so I'm sure you two will get along. Stop calling you what? <laughs> a nerd. Oh, but it suits, your, it suits you so much. I mean, you've even got like, glasses on right now. Yeah. But hey, real talk for a second, though. Are you okay? I know going through a fight like that isn't easy. If you want to get something off your chest, I... I know you never did anything to anyone for those guys to come after you. You didn't have to either. They're just... They're jerks who go around ganging up on people and making their lives miserable because they're cowards. That's all. That's just what they are. It says nothing about you and everything about them. It's okay. It's okay. You can get angry and you can cry. Just whatever you need to feel right now. It's okay and it's valid to feel. You have emotions. You should use them more often. Oh, you're not crying? <laughs> That's 
usually called crying where I come from, but I'm gonna guess uh, it comes under a different name. <laughs> Here, wipe your um, not tears with this. I'll rub your back for a little bit, okay? Well, I know today wasn't particularly easy. I know you're angry and sad, but you were so brave today. What you did back there, that took courage. And I, and I know that it sounds cliche, but it took guts too. And now it's all over, okay? Those cowards won't come after people who hit back, you know? And even if they do, I'll be by your side next time. And I promise you're not alone anymore. You can just let it out now. You're okay. I've got you. I've got you. Do you feel a little bit better now? Good. <laughs> that was your first fight, right? All right, then. Two things to learn from your first fight. One, punching people in the face hurts your fingers as well. Their face is very hard. <laughs> and two, gut hits hurt like hell. Now, are you going to let me take a look at those wounds or what? <laughs> no, you're not fine. Come on, it's, it's not going to hurt. I've got magic fingers. <sighs> Good. Lucky for you, I always carry around a first aid kit on me for occasions, considering how many scraps I usually get to. <laughs> Stand still now. Let me take a look at your face. Clean these cuts before the blood dries up. It might sting a little, okay? Yeah, these don't really look so bad. Just put some ice in it later and it shouldn't even swell. Now your hands. Can I see them? You punched with your right hand, was it? Yeah, this blood's probably not yours. Let me wipe it off for you. Do your fingers hurt too bad? No? Good. I guess you didn't hurt your hand too much either, trust me. You gave those jerks, well, much worse cuts and bruises. By the way, I might have some bad news too. Principal Reagan was looking for you. <laughs> yeah, it's unlikely he'll expel you since it's your first time you've caused trouble, but you'll definitely get a few days in detention. And you'll probably have to hand over the knuckles, too. I'm sorry. Next time you think Campbell and Joel's faces need some fixing, you'll just have to find some other way, I guess. But hey, good news is I have detention to serve in the next few weeks, so kudos. At least uh, me and you will be together. Why am I in detention? Well... <laughs> I may or may not have thrown eggs at Miss Robinson's car this morning and got snitched on by some jerks or others. It's, it's kind of a funny story. I'll tell you about it later. Now, worst part should be your stomach. Like I said, gut hurts like a bitch. So mind raising your shirt for me a little? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Besides, if I wanted your shirt off, well... <laughs> I could think of a few sly pickup lines and words. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I promise. Yeah, these bruises don't look too good. I'll tell you what. School nurse is a friend of mine. She's all right. We'll go pay her a visit, okay? I know the principal's looking for you, but screw that. Look at you. You can barely stand. We'll go to the nurse's office first. And if... Well, if Mrs. Reagan... That desperate old crow decides to yell at you. Well, she can go meet you in the principal's office. Not in the nurse's office. I'll see to that. <laughs> Come on. Slowly now. Easy does it. There we go. Now lean on me. Good, good. All right. Hey, uh. What? What'd you say? No need to thank me. It's the least I can do for you. Really, and, uh... <laughs> you're smiling a lot. It'll ruin your grumpy face. 
<laughs> Come on now. Let's go. Hello, everybody. My name is The Man of Culture. If you like this video, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Consider donating as it funds the channel and everything that I do. Make sure to check out my Patreon where I'm uploading deliciously spicy content for all my lovely viewers. And I want to give a big shout out to our tier 3 Patreon subscribers, Julie, Ethan, Ace Cries, Castiel. Julie, Ethan, Ace Cries, Castiel. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being our monthly subscribers. You guys are all amazing.